In this video, we will look at an example about slope. Here's an example that asks us to put these graphs in order by their slopes from least to greatest. Now we can go in and look at each one individually and count rise and run and calculate the slope for each one of these. Then once you have a slope number, you can put them in order from least to greatest. However, I would like to first put these in order just by looking at them. I'd like you to try to see them just for their steepness and gauge which one is the least steep and then the next steepest and then the next steepest after that and then the most steep. So I would like to start by reminding you that when you read a graph, you read it just like you read words and sentences. You start on the left and you move to the right. So as we're reading these graphs, if I start on the left side of the line and follow it along, in this first one, I see a decrease. So that is a negative slope. Whereas this one from left to right is an increase. So that's a positive slope. So right away, I know negatives are always smaller or less than positives. So let's move all the downward sloping lines towards the left side. So these will be the smaller slope lines. All right, and now we just have to decide which one of these negative lines should go on the left and which should go on the right. Well, now I'm thinking about steepness. So I'm imagining myself walking down this line and thinking about how steep it would feel. Would I feel more like I was going to fall forward if I was walking on this line, or would I feel more like that if I was walking on this line? And this one looks more steep to me. So being that it's negative, being more negative means it's actually smaller. So we're gonna put that all the way to the left. And so I feel good about my first two graphs that they're in the right order. Now let's inspect the two positive graphs and see which one looks more steep. It's a little difficult to tell. As I imagine walking along this line, it looks like a medium steepness. This one seems like it would be a little harder to climb. So my instinct is that this one is a higher positive value and this is a lesser positive value. So they're already in the correct order. Now we can confirm by using the uh, more analytical methods instead of just visually looking, let's try to calculate the slope of each line and see if we got this right by visually uh, inspecting them. So what we're gonna do is for each one of these, I'm going to draw a little triangle from one point to the other and just count the rise over run because we know slope is rise over run. In other words, the vertical change between two points divided by the horizontal change between two points. All right, so I'm going to count the rise from this point. I'm gonna to have to go down. So it's gonna be a change of negative one, two, right? So now I have negative two in the top. And then how much am I changing from here over? One, uh, starting here, I move one, two, and I moved from left to right, so that is a positive two. So negative two divided by positive two gives us negative one. So that's the slope on the first line. The second line, let's draw our triangle and count. I have a, from here down, I have a negative two again, one, two, and from here, over to the right, moving from left to right, that's a positive horizontal change. I have one, two, three. So my rise over run is negative two divided by positive three, which gives me negative two thirds. And on a number line, negative two thirds is closer to zero than negative one is. So they're in the correct order. Negative one is farther away from zero to the left than negative two thirds is. All right, you can also change that to a decimal if you want. Put it in your calculator and divide negative two divided by three 
will give you negative 0.66666 and so on. And so negative 0.67, for instance, is not as far to the left on the number line as negative 1 is. All right, look at the next line. We can draw our triangle here from one point to the next. And first I'm going to be moving a rise of positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a run of, ne of positive, because it's from left to right again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 5 over 6. All right, so that's my positive value there. Let's see what this other line has for us. Notice that I'm moving from the first point upwards, so that's positive, and I'm moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. And when I'm moving horizontally, I'm moving from here to the right, so from left to right, that's positive, 1, 2, 3, 4. So then is 5 fourths larger than 5 sixths? Yes, it is. You can even do this in the calculator. 5 divided by 6 is less than positive 1. 5 divided by 4 is more than 1. So these are all in the correct order. So I feel great about that. I hope you do too.